Hello again from the Kennedys. Well, it's that time of year again. Uh, what to do with all the leftovers from the turkey. A lot of turkey when you get a big turkey. And uh, I've come up with several different ideals over the years. Uh, yesterday, or no, the day before yesterday, sorry. I made uh, pizzas from leftover turkey. Turkey pizzas, and, you know. One of my boys says, oh, oh, yeah, I don't want no turkey. I'm tired of turkey. He ate more pizzas than any of us. <laughs> Which, uh, I'm doing kind of the same thing tonight. So, yeah, boys, I know you might see this. It's turkey again. But guess what? You won't know it's turkey. Because it's going to taste like chicken soup. You can check out my videos. I share my homemade chicken soup recipe. And I'm doing the same thing except for the fact that I will add a little extra chicken broth flavoring. And uh, that will make it taste just like chicken soup. I mean, there's not a lot of difference between the turkey and the chicken. And something's going to happen with this bird. I'm not going to waste it. Too many of us are wasteful in a throwaway world. And that's what's big part of what's wrong with the world we don't have pride in our, our objects that we pay so much money for because we just throw them away when we're done with them what happened to repurposing and re-salvaging and recycling you know it's still out there but not on the scale that we are using and abusing and discarding um, people are out of touch with their food most kids never even seen a real chicken in their life. To them, chicken is just nuggets that come in a box from the store that they want to eat all all the time. And we eat in <laughs> mass quantities. You know, buy from your local farmers, guys. Uh, things are getting worse and it's becoming more and more important for us to form our communities and stick together you know you you see a local farm that's got fresh farm eggs for sale stop and buy them from that person because that person's spending money to get feed for them eggs to be produced and they're not injecting them eggs with all the chemicals and sugars and stuff that your big companies are doing you know they're not feeding their chickens the antibiotics and all the crap that all your big <laughs> chicken growers are doing so yeah buy stuff locally as much as possible hit your local farmers markets you know um, I'm all about trying to do local I, I provide my own local honey it's important that we build these things so that when the grocery store falls apart we can still eat you're going to have to have something to trade and barter. Um, you know, everybody's thinking, oh, I'll just go out to the woods if the crap hits the fan and I'll hunt. Well, guess what? You and 50 million other people are going to be in them woods and there ain't going to be nothing left to hunt. <laughs> so, yeah, start growing your own foods. Buy from local people who do. Trade, barter, and quit wasting I could have easily tossed this out like most people do and that's a life that gave its life so that we could eat why waste it you know just how I feel about it so boys yeah leftover turkeys but I do my best to make sure that it doesn't taste like leftover turkey yeah to the boy that threw a fit about turkey, you didn't want turkey, and we're having pizza, but it's turkey. You ate twice as much as I did. <laughs> so it must not have been that bad, huh? Uh, but yeah, there's a million things you could do with leftover turkey. You know, I made a barbecue pizza and a regular pizza, which the barbecue pizza is the best, in my opinion, by by far. Just take your barbecue sauces, which, you know, I use a little brown sugar, honey, and I doctor it up and mix it together. Put red onion and bell pepper and all that good stuff in there. The cheese, mozzarella, 
it, it makes a real nice pizza. But I'm going to get back to doing this because cell phones and food do not mix. I will have to rewash my hands and uh, get back to shredding this turkey up. I will use the biggest part of that. This pot will be about this full of turkey. And then I'm going to add fresh onion, carrot, bell peppers, some aroma tomatoes, all that kind of stuff, and just let it simmer. But first I will uh, boil the heck out of this turkey for a while. And I'll boil it in chicken broth so that it infuses it and it, it will taste like chicken soup when I'm done. But yeah, that's that's my message for everybody today. Have a good day.